What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net, coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do, you guys, I'm going to take you Friday, bringing you guys junk journal videos. So if that is what you're into, please do hit that subscribe button. Give me a little thumbs up. I do pretty much post a new video every single day. So you guys, today I wanted to make some more uh, Christmas embellishments before I go ahead and start a Christmas junk journal. Uh, one of the embellishments that I wanted to do was decorate some tags, uh, not tags, some jars. I love to decorate these stamp jars. Uh, hi, Jen, how are you, girl? Um, so I went ahead and stamped the jars, cut them out with my scanning cut. And uh, so now these are ready to decorate. I don't know. Somehow all these took me one hour to do. I don't know why, but it took me a minute. Okay. So these are going to be basically like our little base that we're going to use to decorate on top of. Um, I do have uh, some of my Christmas stuff. I also want to grab some non-Christmas things. Grabbing tiny little labels, mostly um, my tiny price labels, and then um, my tiny black and white uh, advertisements. So we'll see which one of these I decide to actually work with. Wait, wait, I'm good, girl. I had pizza, so I'm having a good time. Okay, okay. <laughs> Having a good time with some pizza. Okay, so I have my new pink die cuts. I don't know if some of them might be good for some of these sizes here. I'm trying to see what would be cute. Like, that's too big. And I think it's like one of the biggest jars. Let me see. Yep, that pizza. I had to try that Little Caesars pizza and cheese stick combo. Very interesting. It was good. It was pretty good. The reviews are good. Okay, so let me put this one on a pink jar. Okay, so he's in a little pink jar. And then I'm going to pick. They have these like black and white advertisements, but these are the Christmas ones. Well, of course, the links to everything that I used um, down below in the description box after I go live. It's just a bunch of stuff from my Christmas section of my store. None of those is going to work. No, we're going to have to do something small like this. Like one of Yo box nineteen fourteen. Then I want something sparkly. So I love me some cheap glosses. You know what? Sometimes you're just in the mood. <laughs> it's almost like the McDonald's. You know, like sometimes you're just in the mood for that like flavor. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Let me see. Let me see what little, like, glittery thing I could add here. This would be cute with that little semicircle there. Just to add a little glitter to it, a little Christmas cheer, you know. Got all this fun bag on my table. Okay. I know some people don't like them, but I really do. You know what, sometimes... Sometimes it's good, and sometimes you want something a little better. Just so you know what? I understand. <laughs> but I will eat it. <laughs> and I'm always intrigued when they have new new stuff. I'm going to do a line stitch around the frame of this sentiment. So one second. Just a little... A little box here. Okay. Right there. Just this 
little, oh, I like that little sparkle. I'm trying to make sure that it all held, holds on. So that one's one. Let's see what else I can get in here. And if I can't, see, we have this little jar. If I can't get, like, specifically one of these um, die cuts to fit in the jar, there are other things we can do. This might be a little too big for this project, but these are printed out really small. Okay. Okay. These are two. Got it. So we have other things like these little vocabulary words that I made really small. And then still find a little sparkly die cut, even though. It's not exactly Christmas. Ah, do I have like a little shape of something? See, I have this. This little snowflake might save my life. So it has to be on a diet, but I'm in a really bad since getting over COVID. Oh, you got, you, you had it. Uh, ever since this whole thing, I just let myself go. I'm like, you know what? I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm stressed out. I want... Little Caesars. <laughs> I think it ha it's been going on with everybody, I think. I think you're not alone, girl. This whole year has been terrible for me and my waistline. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, okay? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little, I'm a little chub scout. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hi, JJ. Hi, Joy. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Joy. I was reading it out loud. Okay, so see, that one is an example of one that does not exactly have a Christmas die cut on there, but it's still a little bit Christmassy. And uh, let me see. Let me get my back brace on. Yeah, my whole family did, but it was just me, hubby, and my adopted son who had a horrible, has a horrible immune system. Oh, no. Um, that's when it gets scary, it's like situations like that. Okay. Well, I'm glad y'all are better. But it's definitely a stressful situation. Sounds very stressful. Because I know it was stressful for me when my mom had it let alone like me myself having it. Actually, I don't know if I had it. I was in the same house as my mom and I felt really bad. So I don't know if I had it or not. Cause I mean, I got over it, but it did take like almost a standard amount of time to get over it as they always said two weeks, you know? So it took me basically two weeks to get better. But I didn't get tested because at the time it was not like a readily available thing to get. So let's see here. We got this. It's the unknown that's stressful. Yes, felt just like the flu. And I've never actually had the flu before, but I had headaches. Uh, I had a headache for like a week almost, for five days. I remember specifically five days. I had a headache for five days, and um, I don't ever have headaches. That's why I was like, this is not normal. And um, I was in the same household as my parents when I was feeling like this. And then um, I was taking care of my mom. Came back home. Cause I was not feeling good. So she's like, well, you better stay home. You know, Cause she was actually feeling better at that time from her surgery anyways. And then it turns out she had it. So I don't know what I had, you know what I mean? Okay. So this will go here. Let's 
I'm going to sew this on here first. I'm just going to do a straight stitch. I'm just sewing around the frame here. Track journaling has definitely been my escape this whole time. You know, it's a great hobby right now. Got a headache for bed. Sounds like you might have. Not right now. It's what I had like, what, like two, three months ago now? Yeah, it's been about three months. And I did go through the whole like loss of smell, loss of taste. I did go through that, but I had no problem breathing. I had no coughing. Uh, I was not even congested. My nose was like completely cleared up. And if testing had been easy to get at that time, I would have gotten it, but it was just not a thing that was happening very readily available. It was not readily available at all. I think I will put these two together here. They look kind of cute. But I might glue this because I wish I would have sewn that together. But I did, so I'm gonna do it. Hi, happy Scrappy. Well, my nose was horrible and still is. You know, I just because I thought it was a sinus infection. I've never also never had a sinus infection. <laughs> so all the symptoms, in addition to matching COVID, matched sinus infection. And I'm always having sinus issues. So I chalked it up to sinus infection and uh, I took my mom's Mexican antibiotics. <laughs> and in three days, I was like back to normal. Pretty much back to normal in three days after I took those antibiotics. Okay, so this looks nice and colorful. Love it. Okay, so got more, more little jars to decorate. We only have this large jar here that would be cute. This large heart, I should say. That would be adorable with something if it fits. These die cuts are a little bit too big for these jars. They're a little bit too big. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, there's this. Oh, this is the guy on the bike. This would be cute with a little heart. Oh my god! Dude on a motorcycle playing boldies. Jesus. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> it's just going on. Okay. So let's put these little. And I am selling the little glitter embellishments if you guys don't have um, die cut shapes. They are in my store. I've been asked for them in the past. So I made sure to have them in stock. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I just did a little zigzag there. Just a little zigzag. So I think that looks cute. It looks pretty cute. Okay. And all these jars are from all different companies. There's not just like one brand of stamps or anything like that. This would look cute here with this brown. What about some poly? Yep, poly always works, right? <laughs> okay. So I got this, y'all. Yeah.
This would be cute right here off to the side like that, the little tree. Okay, let me do um, so a circle around this. The zigzag. try and stamp in kind of Christmassy colors. I pretty much stuck to the red that I had, which turns out is more like, it looks more like an orange. I don't know. It does read red, but it reads more like orange, like a dark orange. But anyways, hi Letitia. Did you have weakness? No, I actually didn't have weakness. It's just my head. It made me want to sleep all the time because my head hurt. <laughs> the only time my head didn't hurt was when I was sleeping. Okay, so here's this jar. Okay, so let's see what else we do. What else are we going to do? See, I have some of my older die cups. Uh, we have this pretty, like, hand. I don't know if it's large enough for this. Okay, this large jar we have to do. We have to find something sparkly. Beverly, what's up, Beverly? What is going on? Oh, glittery ticket. I love it, but I don't think it fits. No, it doesn't fit. Let's see, let's see, what do I have, what do I have? Maybe this right here. If I do it like that. It's a possibility, let's see what else we have. I have an oval, that might be better. That's even better, yeah, that's cute. Yes, okay, so oval is winning here. Do I have another color oval? Maybe this blue would be better. Yes, the blue is better. Okay, work, work. So let's put down. I'm going to use vocabulary words. I'll do this right here. I think I like that. Okay. Do you use your journals or do you just enjoy making them? I just enjoy making them. I don't use them. I'll be honest. <laughs> I like to make them and I like to sell them. <laughs> that is my hobby <laughs> and my job. <laughs> Actually, use my journals. Nope. I enjoy making them. It's the fun part for me. And of course, designing for journals. It's the fun process for me. I think I'm still going to go around the circle. Crazy idea, but I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. There we go. See that still looks adorable. 
that stitch on there. I like it. I like it. And of course, I'll glue this down later, of course. Here, brave stitching in circles. I have um, practiced it a lot. I have practiced it a lot, a lot. Not that they're perfect. See, that is obviously not perfect right there. That it looks more like a football. But anyways, um, I've practiced. I've had a lot of practice on my sewing machine with some things. With other things, I'm still kind of new at it. Like sewing in curves the opposite way instead of this. But like this is still new to me. So I got to deal with that. That's something I have to overcome. Let's see. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I have this. Oh, I have this little Santa Claus. He would look cute here, but you know what? He would look cuter here glued down, just like that. I can't sew through his face, man. That would be crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and just glue that one on. <laughs> this is a freebie because I might sew something around it. I have to sew like a shape or something, though. Okay. So this little guy is going to go in here. Patricia! Bye, bye, Letitia. See you next time, girl. See you next time. Let's see. What, what does this need? It needs another jar. I'm not even kidding. This looks adorable. Okay, so this is a jar die cut, which I don't even know. Okay, it goes with this die cut right here. This is a, this set has a stamp and die cut set. So it actually goes with this cut right here. But anyways, it would look adorable, like with this laid on top of it. That would be so cute, but I don't want to sew that because it's so little. So I'm gonna glue this one. It just looks way really too cute, I can't take it. I can't take it. And it looks cute with the pink. Is that pink? Yeah, it looks cute with the pink. Looks like I might have stamped another color, so it kind of darkened it up there on the sides. That looks adorable with all the shine on there. I freaking love it. I love this one. It's so cute. Okay. We're working through all these little jars. I was afraid I didn't make enough, but... Look at the clock, it's already been half hour, and uh, I'm not done, so that's good. I was like, oh, I'm going to be done with these so fast. Oh, look, this is cute. If it's just in the jar right here, <sighs> that looks freaking adorable. And uh, let me see if I have anything else to put, because it does need something sparkly. Just a little sparkle. Let's see. Maybe one of these here, right here, maybe. Just get a little sparkle, like I said, just a little sparkle. Yeah, let's do that. I am digging it. Okay. Pedro! What up, dude? What is up? Okay, so these little draws. Here, okay. Okay, there we go. 
are going to sew down this side right here. Zigzag. Oops. Okay. So that looks way cute stitched on there like that. Check my bobbin because I picked when I was pretty much done. Okay, good. So that looks adorable with a little sparkle. Hey, I came in to be up in your business. I see. I see. That is what you always do, though. Ha! Ha ha! <laughs> You're too much. You're too much. Okay, so let's see. I got a blue one. I don't. I think this is the only blue jar I stamped, I believe. Oh, these little cats would be so cute in this jar. That would be so cute. And we need a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle. Let's see here. I'm definitely going to get started on... <laughs> Now that I have a junk journal cover finished, I have to um, start on a junk journal, I guess. I guess that's expected of me. <laughs> I got to start on the junk journal. I'm going to start on just one at a time. If I can't finish one, girl, stop. <laughs> you know me, I like to start 15 junk journals and finish two of them. You know me, you know, that's my style. <laughs> I like to start 15 junk journals and finish none. That is what I like to do. <laughs> I still have other junk journals in various stages. I might have my husband help me with them. Like, I just need to glue them down. But he has to have a steady hand. I don't know. I don't know if he has the patience to glue things straight. It, it doesn't take skill. It just takes patience, you know? <laughs> It does take a little bit of skill, I guess, just a little bit. You know what? No, I don't want anything like that. No, 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 no. Let's see. What do I want? I said I was going to cut out more stuff for myself, and I didn't. I didn't. No, that's not going to work. I don't like that. This little heart? No, it's too big. It's too big. Let's see. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too much and just this by itself is good. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do these little cats by themselves because I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I can't handle that. Okay. We're just going to pick these, this number of these little cats right here. Tuck that into there. Then I got these little cats. We're not going to sew. Okay. Just gonna sew a little bit on this one. Just get the cats on there. I don't wanna sew through the little faces. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. The little cats. Okay, I have this gray jar, and this right here looks cute. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I have this little, hang on, hang on. That doesn't fit, that doesn't fit. This would be cute with this, but it might be too big. For that jar might need a little bit more like this right here. Let's 
Trying to figure out what looks best with this. Yeah, maybe this could be on a ticket shape. No, you know what? I'm gonna do the heart rights off. Let's do the heart rights off. It already says um with best Christmas wishes on it. So let me try and sew this. I don't know how this is gonna go. But let's see how it goes. It's going pretty good. It's going. I have a lot of Christmas printables. If you guys want to check them out in my shop, I also have um, Christmas die cuts, Christmas uh, the the glitter die cuts here. If you don't have them, I am selling them. So I have a lot of stuff going on in my shop right now, and I do appreciate y'all's y'all support. So that little jar looks adorable. Maybe I should have picked a different jar than green, but it still looks cute. I think. Miss Gigi, hi Miss Gigi. Right, this is a pile of stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> that is for show. Sure. For show, sure, it's a pile of stuff. See, these jars look so cute though. Christmas jars, y'all. Christmas jars. <laughs> Let's see what else we do. Let's see. There's this little guy on this little like goose right here which is pretty cute I also have these die cuts here printed printable I think yeah some of them I should have printed okay let's do this little fella right here So I'm not done printing up my time. <laughs> that happens. And it happens with me that I have too many printed stuff. Too many printed. Just because I test everything that I print, I test. I mean, everything that I design, I test and print. That's what I should say. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so. Let me see. So I'm probably going to do a sale on... Uh, some printed pages. Okay, so here's another one of these I could do. Put the little die cut here. I have another um, border here that I printed, cut out, not printed out. Oh my gosh, geez. Talk right. Okay, so it's there. And then this. They're at the same height. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So there's this jar right here. Give me a little thumbs up on this video if you guys are enjoying it. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. Let me get a little, maybe it needs to be a little bit focused to the side. I don't know. That might be a tiny bit better. Just by a tiny bit. That looks cute. Awesome, awesome, awesome jars. Okay, I do want to finish them. I have half hour. Okay, I think I can do it. I think, I think there's enough time. Let's see. I have another one of these birds. Did I do last time? Oh, just a little heart and the bird. That would be cute. Let's see if I have one of their 
part. Don't know. I have a ticket. No, that's too much. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Hi, Jody. Hi, hi, Jody. So I'm same layout, different jar. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna do a straight stitch. So I don't want to stitch through the birds. I have here. I have a lot of die cuts. I just don't know if they're the size for these jars. That's the issue I'm having. Some of them work. Some of them work. Some of them don't. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, there is one that says mistletoe. Where is it? It says mistletoe. Mistletoe, tinsel. No, where's the mistletoe? Oh, God. I know it's in here. Just find it later when I'm not looking for it. Of course, Jolly, Evergreen, Chuck Frost. I know I haven't used it. Hot chocolate too, so good. A little mistletoe. Oh my gosh, shoes. Oh my gosh. I literally can't believe I found it. <laughs> okay. So this jar, I wanted to cover up this part anyway, so that's why I'm covering it up because I didn't want that part anyways. So now we can have a cute little jar. It's a mistletoe. Right there. No, the jars are not in my shop. The jars are stamped images. That should have been a zigzag stitch. No, no, no. The jars are not my design, and I don't think I can stamp these and sell them, so it wouldn't feel right. Let's see, just a little me. This would actually look pretty cute on here. Yeah, I like that down here. It's just like a holly, holly type of design. Let me do a zigzag stitch. What is the weight of the paper you print uh, your prints on? So I do two different normal uh, types. <clears throat> for my journal pages, for my actual pages of the journal, I use printer paper, just regular, regular quality printer paper. And then for my cardstock, which all this is on cardstock. Let me 
call it luck. Oh, here it is, here it is. It's, uh, I get this at Walmart. This is 110 pounds. So 110 pound uh, cardstock. Maybe you can design your own dress. Uh, yeah, I have. I think I only have one jar design in my stash, so I might have to look for more stuff to use. But um, in the future, that is a possibility. Because stamping this kind of took me a minute, and that's not cool. <laughs> I mean, it already looks like a printout, though. That's what I like about the stamping tool that I use. Okay. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. Some of these die cuts are too large. Let's see. There's this little girl. Yeah, she's too big for that. There's this Holly. Which is nice, which is it's a little nice. Let's see here. Uh, oh, you know what? We have I haven't used a little jar. I mean, a little price label here. Um, I have them little. This is in my shop right here. These little price tags. Um, yeah, you know what? This big one is is fine. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these large price labels here. Like that. So that look cute. Hello, Darshana. I use that cardstock. It's pretty good and inexpensive. Yeah, I have no issues with this cardstock ever, really. None at all. No complaints. No complaints, to be honest. <laughs> And we just go <clears throat> around the front like that. That's the bobbin because the bobbin is done. stuff you go through when the bobbin is done. Let's see one second. Okay. Just get these stitches up because they were just terrible. Okay. Empty bob in here. All right. I do, like I said, I have these really empty, almost empty bobbins. And I like to use them up first. <laughs> I need to use them up. Otherwise, they'll just be like that there forever. Okay. There we go. Much better that time. That jar, look, <clears throat> that jar looks pretty festive. I like it. With that holly, I think it looks cute. I'm going to get a new printer, but I'm waiting. Um, I had to get a new printer, and I got a, a pretty inexpensive, it was $200 compared to my $350 printer um, from Walmart. They have eco tanks now. They're they're cheaply made. I'll tell you that right now. The, the plastic is cheap on it, but I have had no problems with the printing, uh, with the image quality. The one I have is the eco tank 2720, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's been working. It's been working for me. I like it. Let's see this little girl, but she's too large. So we got this little heart, little little angel fella, and he's kind of adorable. 
she, I guess it's a dress. <laughs> I guess this would be cute right here. This would be too cute. So let's see if we can sew around this jar. It actually might not help <laughs> our cause of the die cut in the middle, but I just want to sew this jar. Bobbin is messed up because I <laughs> that stitching is terrible. <laughs> That's funny. I messed up my embellishment. Not cool. Okay, this bobbin is done. This bobbin is just way done. Okay. Sorry, I have to undo it before I continue. I don't know why. <laughs> Gotta finish it. Okay, here we go. We got a new one. Wait a second, I gotta get this thread out of here. You want the ET7700? They just get cooler every year, those printers. But I kind of downgraded in a way, but you know, it's okay. I actually like the yield of the ink on this printer. I feel like I got to print out a lot before it actually ran out of ink. So I'm happy with what I got, but the more expensive, the quality just gets better. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you, I will tell you the truth. It does get better with price, it does. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? She wants the good ones. I mean, if you're going to get the good ones, you might as well get the good ones, you know? If you got it like that, get it. Put it, put it on a credit card. <laughs> Let's see here. Sometimes, I mean, if it's your business, if you use a lot, it's always worth it. You know what I mean? It's an investment. $8.79 on Amazon. <laughs> Woo! That, that better be good. That better make me pancakes in the morning, I swear. <laughs> that is a good quality printer, I'm sure. Let's see here. <laughs> that is the Gucci of all the printers. You know what I'm talking about? Like... <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, does that print like 12 by 12? Why is that price? That price, that's what I want to know. The prints 12 by 12, I mean, you know, that's worth it right there, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this little scallop circle right there. Let's see this little 350 right here. I like it. I like it. Try to move the 350 a little bit more in the middle ish. Actually, right here is good. Right here is good. Got it on zigzag. Okay, good. Okay. in the last box not round well I guess I don't know. I have a 12 by 12 and it wasn't that bad I think 250. You have a 12 by 12 that prints that was 250? That's a good deal. What brand? Might get me one. <laughs> now I really don't have a need for 12 by 12 but it's you know it's good to have it's good to have options. <laughs> options are good. Look at all these jars, these Christmas jars. I love it. 
Okay. So we are getting there. We are getting there. Okay. Let's see. I tend to have the same die cuts because I leave myself with like the last, <laughs> the last of the last after I divvy them up into sets to sell. So that's why you see me with the last of the last of some stuff. Doesn't look like I have a good selection. That's just because I give the better selection to y'all. <laughs> I give y'all all the good stuff. And I get to deal with the rest. I don't like the red. It doesn't really pop. Doesn't really pop at all. What is this, a pink circle? That might be kind of cute. Mm, no, it makes it look like too round. I don't know, I don't like it. Don't mind me, I'm just looking through my die cuts. Don't mind me. This is actually a tag. But I think I'm going to use it as an oval. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know. Right there, kind of off to the side. And let me see if these tags aren't too large. I don't know. Let's see. Might be too large. Yeah, they're too large. So, let's see. Can we put a little price tag on it? The tiniest of price tags? Yes, you can. Price tags are from my shop. They are adorable. Cute little size. It's so cute. Okay, okay. 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 And then off to the right, or to the left, I should say. And the price tag will be here to the right. Like that. All right. Okay. Yeah, who makes it, Jen? Tell us. <laughs> we want to know where the good deals are. <laughs> All right. That one looks cute, the little bird. Let's see, let's see. What else do we got? What else do we got? And where are these heart ones now? Got more of these birds. <clears throat> I don't think I have any more hearts, but I do have this. That's too large, though. That is too large for the space. That is pretty much about the same. <laughs> That's the same. Here's more of a smaller sparkle here. But then that doesn't have the same impact. No, it does not. Nope. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, that's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't even tell if it's a jar no more. Okay. Okay. So that has a little sparkle right there. And we can put a word here. Seasons greetings. Looks good to me. It has a little sparkle here behind it. 
a little bit of a layering going on here. Okay. That looks cute. Okay. I like it. IX6820. It runs a tad dark on photo prints, but I just brighten it up a bit more. Nice. I'll look that up. Oh, well, is that, that's an inkjet, right? Because, you know, I've been actually thinking about getting a laser printer. Like, thinking about it. That's as far as I've gone. <laughs> it's like, thought about it here and there. Um, this looks cute. Here, let me make sure it's all held on, and it is. I only have a little bit more, a little bit more here to do. Let me see what die cuts I have. Like this one right here. Um, I need little die cuts. What do I do on my little stuff? So there's this little Santa Claus. <laughs> it's too big though. Sometimes you need the tiniest of tiniest die cuts. have this little lady here with her little lamb, which is adorable. Just like to add a little bit of sparkle behind them. Just a little bit. And we can put Number thing right here. Like that. Hi, hey, Om. Oh, how are you? There's that little sparkle. Okay, so we're almost done here. We are almost. Out of time, y'all. But it happens. It happens. It happens every night. <laughs> okay, so um, I am not going to go live tomorrow. I will go live uh, if I feel if 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 I feel up to it on Monday. I really don't know how I'm going to feel, you guys. I'm really. Don't know how to feel about what's going to happen. <laughs> um, so I don't plan on going live till Monday if I feel up to it, really. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, this could keep some like little sparkles here. So hopefully everything goes well. I mean, I'm sure it's just a tooth extraction. I exaggerate, but... <laughs> It feels like major surgery to me. Okay. Okay. I went and bought myself a lot of uh, I bought myself a lot of puddings and jellos because that's what my husband and uh, some mashed potatoes. <laughs> And macaroni and cheese tea. So, hopefully it all goes good, right? Yeah, I already ch I got all my Jello chilling. <laughs> all my Jello, my pudding, I got it all chilling, waiting for me to get back and uh, consume all of it. This adventure is too big. 
big. This jar fits right up here. You can't see that it's a jar, really. And that bothers me. Let's see, this jar here is cute. I'm going to add a. No, I can't really add anything to it. There's a tiny heart here. No, it doesn't really fit anywhere, oddly enough. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to call it a night. My brain hurts now. <laughs> okay, I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good weekend. And um, I plan on checking in with you guys on Monday. But, of course, if I don't feel up to it, uh, that's why. <laughs> that is pretty much why I'm not going live. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> send me some bravery because <laughs> I'm such a baby when it comes to uh, things like this. So I hope to see y'all next week. Um, I will be starting a Christmas junk journal. Starting uh, on the cover, of course. Uh, now that I made the fabric cover, we'll proceed on actually uh, making the journal. And, of course, decorating it. So I hope y'all come and hang out with me next week. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for keeping me company tonight. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys so much for checking out my shop. I do have a lot of Christmas junk journal printables if you need some things for your, uh, your journals. Thank you guys so, so much for support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for, so much for liking the video and commenting and everything and such so thank you so much i will be here uh next week bye